I guess our pruning strategy has been a, is we put these systems in closer, starting with a three foot by 10 foot vertical, which is what you see behind you on Ambrosia, have kind of evolved in the last two or three years to a two foot by 12 foot uh, planting. I call it a steep V. Uh, and the reason, of course, one, we went from 1,452 trees to 1,815 trees, so we added uh, 360 some trees. That uh, obviously gets us into earlier production and also, uh, I believe, just as a fu function of the density, it's going gonna, it's gonna to put us into a ability to crop uh, higher consistently. I've just found even on a third leaf honeycrisp that we still have a high amount of bitter pit. So the decision to fill the space and crop in the fourth leaf was made. Uh, I think I think that point is, is particularly relevant, at least out here where a lot of growers are thinking about getting into the organic side of things. <laughs> And we've got another ranch up by the airport in the first uh, in the second leaf in pretty good soil and we took the crop off of uh, everything again just trying to get to the top we are just now coming in with compost and we push the trees very hard and we're getting pretty pretty close to the top but the whole idea would be to fill the canopy and have a system that we could live with uh, when we uh, transition from conventional to organic. Two rows, one of 935, and a lot of you people maybe have more experience than we do even with Geneva, but we've been in our nurseries and, uh, and also trying to buy more Geneva uh, just to try to get all the virtues of the, of the rootstock, which would be obviously the fire blight immunity or some kind of resistance uh, as well as woolly apple aphid and then replant. So it's it's kind of an interesting trial. Uh, it, it appears to me just visually that the 935, uh, at least when I get out here and look at it, maybe I'll make a fool out of myself here now. <laughs> but the 935 has normally had a little more horsepower than the Geneva 11.